look at a few more here now. So if we look at this example, this next example, we can see that A is 3, B is 6, and C is negative 72. So remember we need to look for a greatest common factor first, and they all have a 3, so we need to write a 3 out in front. But they also, if you look at this, they all have a b squared, so we're going to write b squared out in front as well. So if this gets divided by 3, I have 1, and the b squared is out in front as well. So now I have 1a squared plus... 6 is divided by 3, I have 2, and that b squared is out in front, so 2a. And then negative 72 divided by 3, which is out in front, gives me a negative 24, and that b squared is out in front. So now we're ready, um, because 1 and 2 and negative 24 don't have any common factors. So we can take a times c, and we get 1 times negative 24, which is negative 24. So we're trying to multiply to get negative 24, and add to get 2. So we'll look at our negative 24. We can have 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. 5 doesn't work, and we're back to 6. Um, we're trying to multiply to get it negative, so one of those numbers needs to be negative. But our b is positive, so we want the bigger number to be positive, so we'll use smaller numbers for our negatives. So now we want to look for something that adds to get positive 2, and that would be right here. So I have a negative 4 and a positive 6. So my a is 1, I'll write it on top, 1 over negative 4 and then 1 over 6. There's an a squared that's being split up evenly between those two. So now I can just read those straight down. So I'd have 1a or a minus 4, and then 1a or a plus 6. And this 3b squared that was out in front needs to stay out in front, so I just move it down here. So here's another example. Now if you notice in this example, we have a negative in the very front. It's in standard form, but with the x squared first, but we don't like that negative out in front. So what we'll do is we'll put a negative 1 in front of the parentheses, like we're factoring out a greatest common factor. When we do that, it changes the signs, because um, we're really dividing each piece by negative 1. So it makes a positive x squared, a positive 11x, and a positive 24. It has to change all of the signs. And now we can see that a is 1, b is 11, and c is 24. There is no greatest common factor, so we'll just start with a times c, which is 1 times 24. So I'm trying to multiply to get 24 and add to get 11. So 24 could be 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. It's all positive, so I just get to leave them positive, and I can see that this is my pair right here, the 3 and the 8. So I write my fractions, 1 over 3 and 1 over 8. It's an x squared, so the x gets put in both places. I read straight down. 1x or x plus 3, and 1x or x plus 8. And again, this negative 1 that was out in front has to stay out in front. And that's my factoring. This is the same idea here. This has a negative 6 out in front. We don't like that negative, so we'll put the negative 1. That changes this to a positive 6p squared but it changes this one to a minus p, and this one to a minus 2. It has to change all of our signs. So now we can see a is 6, b is negative 1, and c is negative 2. There's no common factor, so we'll just start with a times c, or 6 times negative 2, which is negative 12. 
So we want to multiply to get negative 12 and add to get a negative 1. So we'll list our factors of 12. 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. If I'm trying to multiply to get a negative, again, I need one that's negative. I'm trying to add to get a negative, so I want my bigger number to be negative. So here's how I get a negative 1 with my 3 and negative 4. So 6 is my number out in front, so I put 6 over 3 and 6 over negative 4. I can reduce this, though. I can divide this by 3. So I get 2 over 1, and this one I can divide by 2, and I get 3 over negative 2. There's a p squared, so this is p and p. So I'm going to read these pieces straight down. So I'd have 2p plus 1 and 3p minus 2. This negative 1 that was out in front has to stay out in front. And that's my answer. So we'll do the same thing here. We have a is 15, b is a negative 69, and c is negative 30. Now there is a greatest common factor here. 3 goes into all of these. I can divide 15 by 3. I get 5. Negative 69 divided by 3, and I get negative 23. And negative 30 divided by 3, and I get negative 10. So I'm going to put that 3 out in front. Now there's no letters that they all have. They don't all have x's, and they don't all have y's. So the x's and y's will stay the same. I have 5x squared minus 23xy minus 10y squared. So now there's no greatest common factor within, with those, all of those. So I'll take a times c which is 5 times negative 10, which is negative 50. So now I'm looking for something that multiplies to get negative 50, adds to get negative 23. So I look at my negative 50. That's 1 times 50, 2 times 25, 3 doesn't work, 4 doesn't work, 5 times 10, 6 doesn't work, 7 doesn't work, 8 doesn't work, and 9 doesn't work, and I already have 10 written down. Now I need to add to get a negative, multiply to get negative. So the bigger number is negative, and here's where I get my negative 23. I need to use a 2 and a negative 25. So I put my A on top. I have 5 over 2 and 5 over negative 25. This one can be reduced, which gives me 1 over negative 5. Now you see this has x's, x squared, so the top part both has an x. Now this is a little new, this is a little different. The last term has a y squared. That means the bottom is going to have y's in both places. So we get 5x plus 2y, reading straight down, and then x minus 5y. And remember we had this 3 out in front, so we have to keep a 3 out in front. Let's look at one more. So here we have a is 4, b is 14, and c is 12. Now they can all be divided by 2, so greatest common factor is 2. So if I divide each of those by 2, I get 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Now there's not a greatest common factor, so I can do a times c, or 2 times 6, which is 12. I want things that multiply to get 12 and add to get 7, all positives. So 12 can be 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, and I see that this is it right here. So I put my a on top, I have 2 over 3, 
and 2 over 4. This one can be reduced, so I get 1 over 2. This has an x squared at the beginning, so that goes on top. There's nothing at the end, so we don't need any letters at the end. We just read straight down, 2x plus 3 and 1x plus 2. And this 2 that's out in front, we would just write that out in front. And we don't usually write that 1, so we'll fix that. And then that's our answer.